Lesson four. At school. Hello, students. How are you today? Today we are going to talk about school and daily activities and habits. For this, we need to use time expressions and frequency adverbs. But first, let's talk about some new vocabulary about school. First, we have elementary school. This is when you go to school as a child. Elementary school. After elementary school, you go to high school when you are a teenager. High school. And after high school, you attend university. University. In all of these places, you go to class, class to study. You have a classroom at school, classroom. Children in elementary school, during break time, they go to the playground to play, playground. You may also have a sports ground where you do different sports. Like football or baseball, sports ground. The person who teaches you so that you can learn all of the popular subjects is your teacher. You, the person learning, you are the student. Student. Okay. We to study and to learn. We need to have a book. Book. To write important information that your teacher says, you need a pen. Or, if you prefer, you can use a pencil with lead. Pencil. When you make a mistake, you need an eraser to change your mistake. Eraser. Next, you sit at a desk. Of course, you sit in a chair, right? Chair. Your teacher and sometimes you will write, like on this board. It's called a board. And of course, in this modern world, you use a computer for information. Here is our new vocabulary. So now let's practice. Sylvia, do you go to elementary school? No, I don't. I go to university. Children go to elementary school. That's correct. Very good, Sylvia. Alberto, where is the board? The board is behind you. Very good. Anna, is there a computer here? No, there isn't. There is one in the computer classroom. Very good. Alberto, how many pencils do you have? Oh. I have two pencils. Very good. How many pens do you have? I have three pens. Okay. What color are they? They are red, blue, and black. Good job. Now, Sylvia, how many chairs are there? There are three chairs. Okay. Good. Anna, do we have a playground? No, we don't. An elementary school has a playground. That's correct. Good job, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. He is a student. She is a teacher. This is her desk. This is my computer. There are three chairs. Read and repeat.
Now let's talk about different subjects that we learn in school. First example, the subject you are learning right now, English. English. We also learn how to count people, apples, money, and that's math. Math. Science, so that we can learn wonderful things about our physical world. Science. We also need to learn history, so we can learn the stories of the people before us. History. Next, geography, so that we can know where things are in the world. Geography. Sometimes we learn about sports in school. Sports. We also might study art, so we can learn how to draw and paint art. Okay, music. We sometimes learn how to play the piano or the guitar. Music. And, of course, in our modern world, we need to learn about computers. So we have computer studies. Computer studies. Okay, now let's talk about some verbs that we use about school. Please follow on your computer. Study. Learn. Teach. Listen. Speak. Read. Write. Work. Play. Sing. Draw. Okay, good. Before we practice, let's review present continuous verbs. Now remember, for present continuous verbs, we have a special formula. Okay, that formula is the verb to be plus your simple verb form plus ing. He is reading a book. He is reading a book. All right, now let's practice. We will practice using present continuous verbs. Anna, what is she doing? She is singing a song. Yes, very good. Sylvia, what is he doing? He is studying English. Just like you. Very good. Alberto, what is he doing? He is reading a book. Yes, maybe it is an English book. Sylvia, what is she doing? She is playing tennis. Very good. Anna, this one's for you. What is she doing? She is painting pictures. Good. All right. Uh, Sylvia, what are we doing now? We are studying English. Yes, and you are all doing very well. Thank <laughs> you.